Hey guys, Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode number 35 of my bucket plugin coding tutorials. In this episode, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to check if a player is new to the server. Um, before I begin, I have passed the 300 subscriber uh, milestone. And yay, very happy about that. Um, you know, if if these videos help, please subscribe. It's only the click of one button, but it really does make my day when I look and, and I smile. And uh, it helps the channel grow because uh, I want my videos to help as many people as they can become good coders. So let's get right into this. We're going to be changing the Join Firework plugin to only activate when a player is brand new because you probably don't want fireworks going off every single time a player joins and it's just a good example. So we're going to go ahead and make another event public void on player login and this is a player login event e a player login event is called whenever a player attempts to log into a server. Now, the difference between a player login event and a player join event is with the um, player login event, you can um, use this get result, which will tell you if they've been allowed or disallowed. You can even bypass and allow it or disallow it. And basically, the um, result can be... Um, kick, they were kicked, they were denied, they were kick banned, kick full, kick other, kick whitelist, um, you know, basically this is called before player join is called once the player joins the server, so there are two different, um, two different, uh, events in that manner, and the reason why you need to use a player login event is because by the time the player join event is called, the player is no longer considered to be new, but the player login event is called even before the player joins the server, so you can then check if the player has ever joined. So all you need to do is type if exclamation point e dot get player dot has played before. So if the player has not played before, then you can actually just go ahead and take that code right there. And you're going to need to make um, the player login event final. Uh, you can delete the uh, old player join because we do not need that. So let's go ahead and export our uh, join firework plugin. And now, uh, let's see, testing server. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of these um, server command. I'm just going to delete everything because um, I don't want there to be any... Oh, this is not even the right server, sorry. It's okay. Alright. I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything because I don't know, I think in some file is where all the players are stored, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to delete pretty much everything. So now let's go ahead and start it up. We're going to need to wait for it to generate the worlds and whatever. And let's go ahead and launch up Minecraft. Go ahead and join our local host. And there you go. As you can see, I just joined, as far as the server is concerned, for the first time. And my uh, firework just went off. And just to show you guys, I'm going to disconnect and connect again. Looks like another firework went off. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay. Let's let me just go ahead and check on this.
Hmm. All right. Let me go ahead and reload this. Try again. Mm, still setting off fireworks. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what's wrong. Alright, I'm going to pause the video and figure this out. Alright guys, I figured out the problem. Basically, all I did is, uh, inside of the scheduling the task, I said, if the player has played before, then return. Just, you know, stop. I don't know why, but I think it was registering the event, even though I wasn't new. But I'll show you now that if I leave and join again, no fireworks. So... Basically, I just put the if statement inside of the um, delayed task instead of outside, and now it works. Um, now, normally, if you weren't going to use anything with the scheduler, you could just write a simple if statement for, um, you know, you could just write a simple if statement if exclamation point uh, e.getplayer that has played before, do whatever, but for whatever reason, I guess you have to do it inside of the run method if you're using the scheduler. So, that is all for this video, guys. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, comment with what you want to learn. I have a good 10 or 15 videos on my list that I still need to make. So, uh, you know, I'm good. If you request a video, or if you already have, and you don't see it for a little while, then that's because I have a lot of videos that I have to do, and I also have a lot of coding and non-coding related things going on in my life right now. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next week. Uh, sorry, I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.